Hello everyone, welcome back to another session on dentistry and more. So today we have a new section in oral pathology that is calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor or CEOT which is widely known as pinbog tumor. So we have uh, n number of tumors uh, to cover up. So last uh, sessions we covered uh, various syndromes we have covered around uh, 9 to 10 syndromes now we are moving on to uh, tumor section and the first one is ceot or pinbog tumor so let's see the details of ceot calcifying Epithelial odontogenic tumor, CEOT or pinbog tumor, which is benign in nature, epithelial in origin and odontogenic one. So odontogenic means it is nothing but which is derived from a specialized dental tissue. So pinbog tumors are locally invasive epithelial odontogenic neoplasm, which is characterized by presence of amyloid material that may become calcified. So it has a peculiar amyloid material which may become calcified over a period of time and it was first described by Dr. Jens J. Pinborg. Now let's move on to the pathogenesis. So uh, according to various authors, the Pinborg himself said it is originated from odontogenic epithelium. Some others said it is from reduced enamel epithelium. Uh, of closely related a unerupted tooth or some are saying uh, the possibility that it arises from rest of dental lamina or from basal cells of oral epithelium so the origin uh, has various theories or various concept it could be odontogenic epithelium reduced enamel epithelium uh, of a unerupted tooth and rest of dental lamina or basal cell of oral epithelium and it is associated with mutation of PTCH gene while moving on to the epidemiology it is most commonly seen among uh, 20 to 60 year old and the mean age is 40 years and the male to female uh, ratio is almost same but a little uh, higher predilection in male that is 6 is to 5 ratio and it is just one percentage of all odontogenic tumors and it has basically two types that is intraosseous or central type and extraosseous or peripheral type intraosseous is the most common that is 94 percentage which is uh, seen in mandible region compared to maxilla uh, it is a posterior part of uh, the bone ma mandible or maxilla so it has mandible have twice uh, more occurrence compared to maxilla and the peripheral type which is seen in anterior part that is extra osseous type mm, this is intra osseous that is a central one peripheral one is extra osseous so premolar molar region uh, is a most affected one and while moving on to the clinical features which is a painless mass with slow growth and it is associated with an impacted or unerupted tooth there will be nasal congestion epistaxis or headache and this peripheral soft tissue or extra osseous type the CEOT appears most commonly as a painless firm gingival mass that is this type anterior gingival uh, mass as it appears in peripheral or extra osseous type and it shows a little bit of ulceration on overlying mucosa and uh, sometimes if we go for surgical removal an underlying bony depression or saucerization has been seen in some cases so these are the clinical features so we covered pathogenesis epidemiology and clinical features now let's move on to the radiographic features so radiographic features 
we can see mixed radio lucent and radio opaque areas and can be unilocular or multilocular type and the most striking feature of CEOT is honeycomb or soap bubble appearance because of the scattered radio opacities it can be wind driven or snow falling type so never forget these two honeycomb or soap bubble or snow falling or wind driven appearance it coming in radiographic features because of its peculiar radiolucent or radio opaque areas now we have histopathology histopathology what are the cells seen in the staining process that is it is epithelial cells are present so these epithelial cells uh, which are like um, polyhedral in the form of sheets strands or uh, nests and these cells usually closely packed with few areas showing intracellular bridges and they may have indistinct outline or eosinophilic and hemogenous cytoplasm and the cells resembles the cells of stratum intermedium of enamel organ so it has epithelial cells and the next one is eosinophilic material which is uh, seen between the epithelial cells and the stroma and it is thought to be synthesized by the epithelial cells and next thing is calcified deposit that is a unique feature of this tumor that's why its name came calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumors which are seen to be associated with amyloid deposits and can either be calcified amyloid or calcified collagen so this calcification uh, it can be in the form of lamellae formed by the fusion of small calcific deposits at different foci and they are referred to as lysergang rings so this is another unique feature of ceot lysergang rings and how it forms the calcified deposits it the lamella formed by the fusion of small uh, small calcified deposits at different foci so where different different foci this calcified deposits will form and it becomes a lysergang ring and also symptom like deposition is seen only after the amyloid is fully calcified so the next is uh, it can also have a nuclear pleomorphism with intercellular bridge and amyloid like material will be there cemental like components and also clear cells and it could be uh, langerhans cells so langerhans cells we had seen we had uh, discussed in our um, cells that is uh, pathognomonic uh, cells we had uh, discussed it already so clear cells and langerhans cells are seen not in every cases but uh, it is reported now we have differential diagnosis so what are the differential diagnosis so it could be amyloblastoma uh, regional odontodysplasia dentigerous cyst odontogenic keratocyst odontogenic myxoma these all could be the differential diagnosis of ceot and treatment part A treatment part is basically surgical enucleation and also in severe widespread cases should go for hemi mandibulectomy or hemi maxillectomy and prognosis is overall prognosis good and there is recurrence rate around 15 percentage so that's summary of calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor the takeaway points is its radiographic features that is honeycomb or soap bubble appearance and wintry one or falling snow appearance and also the lysergang rings lysergang rings it's very peculiar because it is a calcified ring so calcification happens that is a unique feature of ceot from the name itself you should uh, understand that there is calcification and it is associated with lysergang rings 
so uh, when you're writing about a tumor so you should go for uh, these uh, subheadings like pathogenesis little bit about introduction epidemiology clinical features radiographic features histopathology and differential diagnosis treatment and prognosis and always make sure that you highlight all these striking features like honeycomb when driven or snow falling and lisa gangrings so i'll come up with a new tumor uh, in my next session in dentistry and more thank you